Mobile phone service provider Digicel's $100,000 Christmas promotion came to a final close on Friday, 11th February, with $80,000 in cash up for grabs. The event, held in the courtyard of the Baywalk Mall, where the promotion was initially launched, attracted a large gathering of people excited to see the finalists in the promotion vie for the top prizes. The anticipation of Digicel's grand finale in its Christmas campaign had been building since last year, when the company announced a total of $80,000 in prize money to be won at the end of the promotion. According to Digicel's local marketing manager, Fuchel Le Charles, the campaign achieved the company's objectives, but more importantly, lived up to customers' expectations as well. Digicel is very happy, very happy that we actually was able to give away cash to five finalists. Last year we gave a land to one lucky finalist and one loyal customer, but this year we gave cash to five finalists. So that was one of our objectives and we didn't meet that objective this year. Five finalists now emerge for their turn in the now famous Digicel cash machine as the large audience who had gathered for the event cheered them on. Fifth and fourth places each received $2,500, third place won $10,000, second place received $20,000 and the grand prize of $45,000 went to Kerwin Xavier, an employee of the Government Information Service. Well, first of all, I want to thank God for that gift through Digicel. Um, most of that money for me is actually going to help my mom basically, um, she has a project on and so I'm not even sure I'm going to get one, one cent out of this because I've already emacked. In fact, from the time persons heard that I was a finalist, they kept sending the proposals and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep them waiting and guessing to see who gets what and how much. Digicel is already planning its next promotion for customers to benefit even more from its products and services. And of course you know Digicel's logo is bigger and better. Jazz is coming up, cricket is coming up, so of course we have bigger, better prizes, bigger, better promotions for the year 2011. The finals of Digital's $100,000 Christmas promotion was held at Baywalk Mall on Friday, February 11, 2011. And finally, in the CTV business world, Lucilek has donated a photocopier to the students of the Bogies Primary School. We have the details in this report. On February 16, 2010, the Bogies Primary School has been gifted a new photocopier. The donation was made by the St. Lucia Electricity Services Limited, Lucilec, on Tuesday, February 15th. Accepting the photocopier was Principal Miss Murina Julian, who expressed thanks to Lucilec for its donation, noting that the school had been without a proper photocopier for the past 10 years. We were in dire need of a photocopier because we have assessments every Friday. But they just test what they teach from Monday to Thursday on Fridays. And it is kind of difficult to get um, the assessment material ready for the students by Friday. She explained that the copier would greatly assist in areas such as providing test papers and copying learning material for students. In the past, she said teachers at the school have lost productivity due to the inability to have these simple tasks accomplished. Lucy Legg's corporate communications manager, Roger Joseph, who made the presentation on behalf of the company, said Lucy Leck is committed to partnering with the community to help ensure schools are adequately resourced. We saw it as an opportunity for partnership with the community because Lucy Leck does not operate and exist in a vacuum. The, the power that we produce is used by you, your parents, by the school, by everybody on the island. So we exist within the community and we do everything that we can to help sustain the community. Mr. Joseph also added that this resource will, as a result, assist in enhancing both efficiency and productivity, allowing teachers to give greater attention to teaching. We don't see this as a copier. Uh, we see it as um, an opportunity to improve and enhance the learning environment for the students of the Bochis Primary School. Also present at the ceremony was the district education officer, Mr. Everice John. Mr. John noted that one of the challenges for rural schools, such as Bogies, is sourcing funds for equipment. Some of the schools, they do have these um, challenges in raising funds to buy the equipment they need. Um, for learning to be effective, you need to bring in things that students can see you know, not just the chalk and talk and the technology and the gadget they need. Um, sometimes it can be expensive. So 
when you find a corporate um, entity like Lucilek coming on board, it, it, it's, it's, it's very gratifying. His hope is that this token will assist bogies in increasing the percentage of common entrance passes. And that's the CTV Business World. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Lisa Joseph. And remember, keep watching Calabash TV.